Hey, it's Jeff Levin here. Uh, just wrapped up day 23 of uh, the Fit Dad Challenge. Um, I didn't get a chance to get around to uh, recording a video yesterday because we had a lot going on from a family perspective. Um, but I got my workout in, as you can see from the post on the wall. Got it in the morning. Um, feeling great. Did a lot of uh, lifting yesterday. Resist resistance band, though. Um, did the total body workout and the uh, upper body workout and also did some cardio and um, feeling really good. Yesterday I dropped down to drop down below 185 um, which is another huge milestone for me. The, the pounds are definitely shedding off faster now which means I'm getting closer to my goal weight. Um, uh, but yeah, I mean I'm what eight days now away from uh, completing my third 30 day challenge and uh, I think I've lost like three and a half four pounds this this month so you know I've dropped nearly 40 pounds a little bit over 40 pounds and it's coming off slower and slower but I can tell you know my size is dropping um, and I'm getting more and more toned every day um, so yeah it's important to take your measurements um, you know, I made a mistake and I didn't take my measurements the first 30 days and I took them, I took them after the second 30 day um, period. So hopefully I'll be able to notice um, in general where the improvement's been over this 30 day period. Um, I can tell you though, you know, as I mentioned in previous posts that, you know, I was almost able to, to fit in size 32 pants, um, which is what I wore back when I was working out two, three hours a day before, you know, marriage and kids and all that stuff. Um, and, uh, you know, I was able to fit into the pants, but uh, you know they were flaring a little bit and they were a little bit uncomfortable around the waist. So I decided to stick with the 34s, which is still, you know, four sizes smaller than I was uh, 60 days prior. So I'm hoping that after this last 30-day period, I'll be able to fit in those 32 uh, size pants comfortably. Um, and that's my goal. I don't want to drop any more from a from a waist perspective. Um, I just like to take it from there and tone up and you know, get that definition in my stomach and my chest and arms and stuff like that, my back. Um, but it's going to take time and, you know, that's why it's important to recognize the small wins. Uh, continue to build consistency in your life, you know, eat the right things, stay away from the bad. Um, don't, you know, don't, don't beat yourself up if you slip a little bit. Um, allow yourself to eat some of the things that you like every now and again. But for the most part, on a day-to-day -day basis, you should stick to your diet, stick to consistent, healthy foods um, so that, you know, when it comes to maintaining weight long-term, uh, maintaining health, you know, you'll be there. Uh, the one thing I have noticed after taking Shakeology for, you know, a few months, uh, my cravings have gone down tremendously. Um, it's amazing what your body does when it gets the right food inside. You don't get the cravings um, because most of us, as you know, you know, when you get the cravings, you go and reach for that uh, bag of chips or you reach for the junk food. And, you know, no matter how much you eat, you always want more. And it's because you're not giving your body the right nutrients um, and, and the right things that it needs in order to, to function properly. And that's what, you know, that's what Shakeology is doing for me. Um, people say it's expensive. It's a little bit more expensive than, uh, uh, you know, buying that $5 cup of coffee every day from, uh, from Starbucks. But it gives you everything you need besides that jolt of energy that only lasts about a two, three hour period before you hit that, uh, that low point. Um, imagine filling up on all of your nutrients in one shake every day. That's what this does. I highly recommend it. Um, if you do take the challenge, which starts September 1st, you know, not only will you get a, a free t-shirt, but I can show you how you can save money long term um, if you want to you know, go on the nutrition programs that I'm on as well. Um, as you know, I use the 10-minute trainer program. Um, if you want to do 10 minutes to start, that's great. That's what the challenge is all about. But hopefully, uh, you know, if you're like anything like me, you know, after doing your first 10-minute workout, you're going to say, man, I can do another one. And then before you know it, you'll be doing two or three a day, just like I have. And you'll see the same kind of results that I got. Um, but that's all for today. Uh, we're going to be back again tomorrow, day 24. Um, it'll probably be late night because, well, no, no football practice tomorrow night, so I'll be able to do it normal time, so if you want to work out together, get in the super gym. See you later. Have a great Sunday. Bye.